For the last 30 years, American artist Richard Tuttle has been on a mission to prove that plywood, polystyrene and torn sheets are just as relevant to art as paint, brushes and canvas. And with his first major British retrospective in 10 years, time to coincide with a renewed interest from young artists in his featherlight works, he may well be going some way to winning his argument. His work materials, if that's what we're talking about, are very um, humble. Scraps of paper, paint, um, um, bits of hardboard, polystyrene, but they're, they're not uh, thrown away materials. The person who said that you know, these could be nothing or they could be something, it, um, probably very accurate, very perceptive. To many people, and certainly to any kindergarten teachers, the word childlike might spring to mind when looking at Richard Tuttle's work. A reaction that Tuttle's supporters, rather than scoffing at, celebrate. After all, even Picasso claimed to have spent much of his later career trying to rediscover the natural techniques of his childhood. There are probably two ways of working. It doesn't matter what kind of work it is, whether it's abstract or whether it's figurative. One way of working is that you have an idea or, or a desire and you try to get as close to that desire as possible. The other way of working it is to start from B and to try and get as far away um, from your imagination or what you thought you were going to kind of make. And I think Richard Tuttle shares that um, way of working. If he shares that way of working with very young children, it's because young children haven't put the rules in at that early stage. And uh, they, they tend to say, I wonder what will happen if this happens. Tuttle fans have also described his work as amusing, though some critics prefer to say confusing. But for Jefford Horrigan, the answers to Tuttle's riddles lie as much in their surroundings as in the works themselves. The pieces of work called the Renaissance Unframed, which are a series of prints um, on fabric. The whole room is important and they go um, right up to the ceiling. And it was extraordinary for me to help hang them because although you were hanging something that was only like, couldn't be two ounces in weight, you actually had to have all this massive scaffolding in order to get this piece of work up. If Richard Tuttle's works invoke humour, it's hard to tell whether the joke is in the art or on those who view it. But if you want to find out for yourself, his exhibition will be touring nationally.